Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining my channel, Florin Coffee with Nub. Right now, I'm at paternity leave and I'm enjoying the time with my little one. So in the afternoon when he was taking a nap, I was like, okay, what I should be doing? I recently started learning about agentic AI, right? Top of the top. So I said, okay, I've been learning how I can learn better about this concept. So I thought like, why can't I just go and build something out of it? And what I did end up building is I built a AWS block summary, or you can think of a text summarization application. So you will be like, hey, uh, there are many Gen AI applications available, such as ChatGPT, Bard, or Gemini. Uh, those are allow you to do our deep seek nowadays that allow you to go and perform the text summarizations. Of course, they do that. Uh, you have to go to their application or web interface and then put the text you're looking to have a summarize and uh, that can be do for you. That's nice. What I'm looking to showcase you in this video is how you can build this your own application running on your own uh, desktop or laptop and without you going on internet, without you subscribing for any of those services, you will be running everything on your local machines. This is what I did. And again, I have reduced that manual process. So if you have to go to the summarizations, you have to go and uh, Read this, like for instance, I got the summary of this block, right? Amazon Rashi Savonis has higher base capacity for whatever this, the summary of the block, right? So if you read this block, it has a lot of text and that's the beauty of having the AWS block. It provides a lot of in-depth knowledge and uh, I myself I end up writing 23 AWS block with 143,000 plus uh, views on those blocks. So, but right, sometimes you do not need to go and read the entire thing. You just wanted to see what is being, what this blog is saying. So you have, and many times like the organizations do not even allow you to go and uh, run your own go and able to extract or work with, with an outside chat GPT or any other LLMs, right? So what we're doing here is you can able to go and install everything on your own machine and, um, and able to play with it. So. This is the end end result. So you will be going and selecting any of the blog from the block list. And, and then once you will be there, like you will be clicking on summarizations blog, it will be going into the URL, extracting the URL, going into the URL and summarizing that blog for you. So this is the end result for you. Or this is how you're able to see that. So let's get this started and see another more. Other thing is here, what I did is we have this big data blocks as a part of, we are the part of the analytics. So we have this big data block. So I've been listing all the, all the, all the block listed on single page. I am not doing the page rendering yet, but that can be an enhancement to this one. So it will be listing all the blocks available into this single page. So let's get started. As I shown you, this is how the last outcome looked like. And so we can work backward from here and see how you can build your own text and block summarizations. Other thing, which is put as a disclaimer, a couple of things, right? I work for AWS, but this is not an AWS video. This is my personal. So there is no affiliation with AWS. And whatever I'm been sharing here is my personal thought and personal experience. Other is when you, what we're doing here is we are doing the web scraping. So web scrapping that can be legal or illegal based on what kind of a website you will be looking to scrap. So we'll, you need to ensure you only looking to scrap those publicly available information such as like blog, this is public. So that keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and get started. So when you will be going and, and working on this one here, right? Once done, and I, as I told you, we will be using on your local machine, we'll be using that that open source LLMs such as Llama models or, or DeepSeek model. What do we do here? Uh, so let's understand this project overview and architecture. So what we're doing here is we will be fetching that block content and then we are sending that to the LLM. In this case, we have been sending to the DeepSeek and uh, I've also tried with the Llama model. So again, you can have any other model. And then we will be sending the streamlet uh, UI. This way, you'll be able to see this this UI experience here, right? That's how we have been built. So what I did is I have rolled that entire end to end uh, steps, which we are looking to follow along. Uh, if you're looking to see where what all so, you know all the codes which I'm gonna uh, showcase you, that is available in my GitHub. So if you here in, in a GitHub, you will to see, I have created, and I can impose this into 
I have posted this, this link in my description. I have wrote all the steps, what we're looking to do, how we are looking to do. So let's understand that high label flow. So what we're doing is we are having this user in, uh, input, like selecting that, that block from the block list. And uh, once done, we will be, uh, it will be sending to the module. Scrapper module will be going and extracting the content out of it. Then it will be summarization sending to the LLMs. Once that is being done, it will be providing the doing all kind of a summarization. Or if I go back to it, when it will be going and generating the summarization. So for instance, let me show you. So here, when I go and collect, select this one, it will be going and fetching the content. If you see here, uh, it's fetching the content from that website. And uh, then it will be going and generating that output for me. Okay. So let's go back and uh, yeah. So this is how we are doing it. What I did here is I have, uh, this is what the product uh, st uh, structure look like. So we are having in app folder, we are having this per dot py, we are having the summarizer dot py, and then we are having this ui dot py. So all these are the Python files. The scrapper dot that py will be is for us to collect the block title. So it will be going into this big data block page. It will be extracting all the blocks information from here. It will be going and extracting the text from it, and then it will be sending to the summarizer. Then summarizer will be summarizing it. And then eventually we are having this UI, which we'll be using for us to work for it. So easy, right? You will be looking to clone. If you're looking to implement this entire project, you can simply go and clone. Other thing which, which I will be highly recommend is using that uh, virtual environment. And if you're interested to know how you can able to build the virtual environment. I have created a YouTube video. You can go and look into my YouTube channel and find that. And thereafter, once you've done it, you will be going and installing this requirement.txt file. In the requirement.txt file, I have high list all the libraries needed for you to install this, right? So this is, we are having this request. We are having this beautiful soap. Then we are having a player, a writer, write, etc. So there are, and then Lanchen definitely. All those are available for us to go and work on this one, right? So you're able to go and install all the libraries which is being needed. Once done, you will be going and running this application. So other thing as a part of the prerequisite, what we need is well, we need to have a model up and running. So if you see here, I already have a model up and running in a, in a Docker container. Let me show you that part. So I already have a model up and running in a, in a Docker container, which I will be using. Where is my Docker? It's here. So if you see here, I'm have already having up and running and I think I showed, already showed you that UI, UI of it. So let's go. Uh, yeah. So this are the, uh, I am having the Llama model. I'm having the DeepSeq model. I'm having the Llama latest model, which is 3.2 billion parameter and et cetera. This one is available here. And again, I have made a video around it and I can put as a part of the predictors how you can able to go and install that this open source model from the, from the hugging face and I'll make it available for you to on your local machines. Must watch that video. That's a part of the prerequisite as well. And if you already have that, it's even awesome, right? So if not, then you have to go and install this model first on your local machine. And once you're done installing model, then you will be looking to see how you can able to make an API call. Also I have made a video around it, how you can make an API call against the models, right? So this is the video, how you can install the DeepSeq on your Mac. I'll put this first, though. and then you will be, how you can able to make a, a API call, right? There are, how you can make an API call. So again, these are the two videos which you are looking to watch. This one is how you can make an API call. And other one is how you can install the model on your local, on your Mac. These two videos are important for you as a prerequisite. Once you have it, this is how exactly it's going to look like done installing everything in my visual code. So I will showcase you here. This is my app within the app I'm having. Wait, we are having this scrapper file. So what we're doing within the scrapper file, we will be going and I have provided the AWS block URL. I've been, I have installed the AWS block, provided the AWS block URL. Once I've done provided the AWS blog URL, I will be going and fetching the title of, of that blog, right? Once the title of the blog is being being extracted, I will be going and storing those as an as a I will be going and those storing as an array. Thereafter, uh, once done, I will be going next step is when I will be selecting selecting the blog, I will be going and extracting the metadata information here. 
and then I will be you know, accepting the entire entire body of the of the blog. I was having a lot of issues earlier when I was just extracting the uh, the inner text of it, but later when I bring the entire body of the blog, it fixed the issue. So maybe there was a rendering issue in terms of like how the page has been rendered, right? Because initially it was I was under impression it is, is rendered as an HTML file, but again it was not working. So I what I did here is that again I've been using help. So if you're having any issues, you can always able to use. For instance, right? I've been I always have some. If I'm having any issues, I will be just putting that into into chat gpt or other model which which is being running and then i asking the question how to fix those issues so that helped me a lot thereafter we are having this summarizer this is the interesting part that remember i told you you will be looking to make an api call keep in mind i'm running in this olama i've installed that into olama and which allow me to run that large language model locally so you need to make an API call to Llama that will help you to go and extract that that all the models. So let me show you what all models are are running on my machine. So these are the models, right? I can show you, right? So this is where I will be able to see that. So it will be telling me what all models are running, right? That's cool. So you can able to use any of the model and then again, depend on what all models running on your on your machine, but that's how you it will be. Let's go back to the code. So here, what we're doing is we are summarizing the blog. In a blog, I wanted to have the main topic. I wanted to challenges, solutions, service use, best practices, etc. You can change accordingly. So this is the prompt which we are providing. This is what we are looking to expect, right? So this is uh, again you can make, uh, make and you can change this prompt formatting based on how you wanna how you wanna have your text outputted. Thereafter, you will be going and providing what model we are looking to use. So here we are looking to use Llama 3.2. So this is more kind of an error handling. So I will let you guys go through the code and understand the code, but it is very easy, not very much of complex code, which is being, which is written here. Thereafter was done. This is the interesting part where we will be looking to run the streamlit uh, app. And again, I used, as I said earlier, I used Llama model to generate this, this code. And then again, like it, it went through the multiple iterations for me to even come up with what I have there, like with the multiple error messages, it almost took almost three to four hours for me to build the entire end to end application. But the good part is people like us who's not having much of experience around the web development, easily able to build the apps that can be at least working in the very first place itself, right? And then, of course, you can able to put a lot of enhancement. So that's what's the beauty of having Gen AI, right? Uh, it will be letting you, people like us who's not very well versed on the app development or web development, they're able to go and start building the application which help in, in their jobs, right? So I work as a solution architect. So often I need to, when I will be going and presenting something to the customer, most of the time I have to go through the blogs to understand the topics, right? And oftentimes you do not have a time to go and read this entire blog. If you go here, this are, there are a number of blogs which is being published by AWS and then these blogs are very lengthy and most of the time you do not need to know what's the implementation, everything as such. You just have to get the basic idea around the blog, right? So that will help. That will be super, super helpful for, for me. So. Again, as I said, like this is a text summarization. We uh, we will be using Agentic AI, uh, and again, again, the Agentic AI is just a fancy name of an AI workflow. So what we're doing is we are having just simple workflow where I will be extracting that block title, then I will be extracting the text, then I will be sending those texts to the, the LLMs. Here we only have a single LLM, and we only have a single step. But again, it's the entire workflow here, so that is why we are calling it an Agentic AI or workflow AI, right? So this is the entire the workflow which we are having. Do try out and see how it works for you. Try out and if you have any issues based on a comment and I will try to help you there, okay? And if you're watching this very first time, please do subscribe as I'm very new to YouTube and I'm trying to share my knowledge with you all. If you find this helpful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share with your friends and family. Thank you.